Okay, in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing the uh, five minutes to motion. Um, this will actually be doing live, using live parts. So uh, we will be starting a, the program from scratch from right now. And from this point on, we will have motion here shortly. So I just want to show you how, how quick and rapidly this can be done. Um, um, not actually programming, but through motion access direct commands. Um, again, so we're real quick. We're going to be using the L73. Um, we're going to be using version 20. Uh, we'll name it um, five. Let's see, five we'll just call it five minute motion and uh, that way we we uh, you know we get what we got uh, we're in slot zero for the processor so that's where we're going to be um, we'll come in and throw our um, our communications in there so we'll basically be a motion and we'll be throwing in the motion tag our motion card we're using which is a uh, a Cercos card and we'll call this Cercos and it is in slot uh, 2 so we'll have that in there and at that point what we'll do is we'll look at our chassis we'll look at our actually look at RS links and see what we have so you see we have slot 1 our slot 0 is our 73 processor Slot 2 is the motion card, which is the um, M16SE. And uh, from there on, we're going to be putting in our controller, our servo controller. So the drive we're going to be using is a uh, 2094-BC01-M01. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that in. And... Uh, Let's see so let's pick that that would be that card right there and we'll call this um, motion controller and uh, its node is node 10 okay so we'll put that in there then we'll come in and we'll make a group, a motion group, and we'll call this axis group. Or let's just call it motion group. So we'll call it motion group. Under the motion group, we want to put in a new axis. It's going to be a uh, axis servo drive. And then we'll call this axis one and put it in so at this point we want to link the two together so when we link the axis one together to the module click on the module and click associated axis at this point you drop down to node 10 and then put in axis one and then they are linked together this does not mean we're done uh, what we need to do on axis one is open up the properties and put in the motor the drive we're going to be using uh, in the case we're going to be using I'll go ahead and pull up the drive motor it is a, a B1520U so we'll go to um, MPL, MPL B1520U right here and this should be do it this should do it so that is a drive we're using we do not want to be using drive input checking uh, we want to use bus monitoring and we want to be using position error uh, so we click OK and everything should be linked up um, in the case of this, we want to change the main task um, like we always do. Change it from continuous to periodic and keeps us about 47 uh, milliseconds. It's 
generally the timing scheme that I like to keep and we should be ready to download okay so at this point let's get rid of this top header okay let's go to communications um, let's go to ethernet and then we'll throw that in click download okay so uh, now we're we're going to throw it back into uh, to run um, everything should be linked up this may take it a second before the controller recognizes who it is because the Cerakos ring had to actually uh, drop and now it's got to go through the you know it, its cycle so it's going to the drive itself the servo drive um, the kinetics 6000 drive we're using has to go one two three and four so it has to recognize where it's at now <clears throat> As far as the motion, we should not have a fault on the motion, but we can easily tell that. Let's see, compatible drive. State is unconnected. Refresh. Okay, let me see what's going on on the controller. Okay, so it's going one, two, three. We may have the wrong motor inside here. Let's do this. I may have picked the wrong motor. <clears throat> Let's go back and pick the, sorry, the, uh, should maybe it's this one. And, that should do it. Okay, let's uh <clears throat> let's see if that worked. And let's see what the state. Okay, so we have the drive on, access card is on, it says connection area, oh, so that's one thing we need to do is go in here to uh, enable time synchronization, uh, match that, and get that working. So. Another good point that you have to have is is obviously the uh, time synchronization on a especially on a Cerakos network, so it knows exactly where it's at. Um, and see everything. As soon as I did that, everything came in. It was started working. <clears throat> and this has a configuration fault. So the configuration fault. I probably had the motor right to begin with. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I know I did. Um, so I don't think I, I don't think that's a clearable fault. So let's take quickly take this back offline and pop the other motor back in. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
we'll do that and download one more time okay this should be the last time <laughs> and then it will actually be the true five minutes okay <clears throat> um, so as soon as the controller down here goes one two three four five or one two three four um, which is basically the circus ring uh, getting where it's happy uh, we'll, we'll start coming in here and yep so now we're able to with absolutely no programming whatsoever we're able to come in and go to uh, motion direct commands or first I would like to do is uh, reset any faults just as a proper that's the proper way to do things um, I would like to come in and reset the shut motion shutdown um, faults again and then go to the motion axis on uh, so that's basically cutting the motion axis on we'll go to a jog and throw in a speed up for that jog and we actually have motion so we actually have the drive running right now um, not sure if you can quite hear that and we'll speed it up just so you can hear it so we'll take it to 20 and you see you can actually hear that now um, we'll do a stop real quick uh, we'll do a controlled stop okay so now what we'll do is come in and do a position move of let's say 200 and then the speed speed will be 25 and this is going to be an incremental move so it's going to basically move um, tw to the position of 20 and then it's going to uh, run the speed of 25 um, first and foremost what I want to do is home it so I know that so if I open up the properties if I open up the properties right here you would see that the actual position right here is zero and we'll throw in our um, I'll actually pull this up and we'll throw in our incremental move again and we'll go ahead and do that okay so we actually have it running it's going to run at uh, to a position of 200 and then stop and then we'll do it again then it should run to 400 then go to a position and then stop so you see what an incremental move does um, at that point uh, we can even speed this up a little bit um, and do it even quicker and then we can run this backwards so we can command it to go to uh, negative 200 position and you see it does that it runs backwards And then we could also just do another jog, right? So we can jog it forward or we can jog it backwards. And then come back and do a stop. So again, that was, uh, and then we'll cut it off. Okay, so that was the, um, I guess the newer, five, newer uh, version of five minutes to motion. Um, you know, it doesn't take long to, uh, once you get everything in and, you know, just remember the couple key key components um you know having the time synchronization in there um there's another another uh real big one right here is uh it's basically going to be the uh drive input checking you don't you do not want to have that on um and then make sure you set up your io properly so make sure you use your your um whatever you have into your um you know your rs links uh it's pro probably the best way to go about it so uh again hopefully that was helpful um you know we can do a lot more uh with this stuff i just want to kind of show it uh that it's possible to start a program and have motion and fully tested in that short short amount short amount of time so uh hopefully that was helpful and, and shows you you know uh open your eyes on a couple things and 
what you can and can't do. Um, and now at this point, you know, we can able, we're able to start programming and, and kind of go wrong, along with, uh, you know, do a couple things and actually do standard programming. So, um, again, if, uh, if you'd like to see more of this or if you have a comment, um, about this video or, or maybe something else you'd like to see, uh, please leave it in the comment section below and, uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, hit the like button if you like it and share, um, you know, that was greatly appreciated trying to, uh, trying to reach out and help as many, many people as we can. So, um, just a little small stuff like this is, uh, it seems to help out. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll make another video to, uh, to cover a couple more things on the servos and stuff of that nature. And I will be coming out with a class, um, uh, motion mastery, probably in a couple, like probably in a month or two. And um, hopefully that'll get everything from A to Z covering everything but from motion. But uh, for as far as this video right now, um, we're basically done with that. And uh, we'll pick back up where we left off and uh, <clears throat> keep growing. All right. Well, thanks for your time and uh, look forward to hearing from you.